What is a human being? In essence, it's a physical body endowed with a mind and consciousness. Today, each of these aspects is limited by something. Age, health, heredity, access to information, and so on. However, thousands of scientists around the world are working to overcome these limitations with the help of one technology or another. So what will human beings be like after going through dozens of improvements? Will we remain ourselves by tapping directly into the possibilities that artificial intelligence offers? What superpowers will biotechnology give us? Will our feelings and desires be the same when our bodies change like this? We've gathered the cutting edge of scientific research, the opinions of futurologists, and the predictions of most brilliant minds on our planet to peek with you over the horizon into the year 2050. Let's travel to the year 2050 and start simply with the human body. Soon enough, for the first time in 300,000 years of human history, evolution will not be about natural selection, but about the re-engineering of life. Life, and not just human life, will be the result of rational design through technology. A child designed by its parents will not need to be born. It'll be raised in capsules that mimic the womb and supply the growing body with everything it needs. The capsules will be installed at home or in special baby growing factories, similar to the one seen in the Matrix. There, the ideal conditions of pregnancy will be reproduced in an infection-proof artificial womb with controlled conditions. The baby will be in an analog of amniotic fluid and the artificial umbilical cord will provide oxygen and nutrition with specially selected hormones, antibodies, and growth factors. Baby waste can be removed, run through a bioreactor, and enzymatically transformed back into a constant and sustainable source of fresh nutrients. Vital signs will be continuously monitored to avoid physical defects and genetic anomalies. Real-time data will then be sent to parents. At birth, the child will be implanted with chips and microsensors, some of which will continuously monitor its vital signs and health throughout its life. Genome engineering coupled with such monitoring will eradicate many diseases. The remaining problems and ailments will be detected in time thanks to regular tests performed at smart restrooms, as well as data processing from sensors, which will be carried out by artificial intelligence. It will also prescribe treatment. The treatment will be carried out by micro and nano robots. They will deliver the drug to the necessary organs and even cells and will dose it for the necessary period of time. And if necessary, will even perform microsurgery on tissues. Also, implantable devices will be able to control the production of hormones, directly affecting the quality of life, as well as the mood, fear, and so on, turning on and off our feelings and emotions at will. Tiny robots will be able to rejuvenate organs and tissues by delivering both nutrients and stimulants, as well as rejuvenating chemical cocktails. By the way, we've already talked about the technologies of eternal youth and the issue at the link in the bottom. The very drugs taken by the individual will be personalized thanks to advances in genomics. Doctors, or an AI replacing them, will be able to prescribe medications based on a person's genetic makeup. This will result in treatments that are more effective and have fewer side effects. If treatment or rejuvenation is no longer enough, any organ can be replaced with a new one, grown from stem cells or printed with bio-ink on a special 3D printer. Moreover, the minimally invasive operation will be performed by an autonomous robot surgeon, and recovery after it can be done in a special rehabilitation capsule, where everything necessary for recovery will be supplied at the right time. But that's not all. Genetic engineering will be able to offer as goods superpowers for humans and animals, taken, for example, from other species. Would you like a glowing pet? Or maybe you yourself dream of possessing the sense of smell, hearing, or sight of animals. Some may be just a whim or a dream. Others may be useful for work or hobbies. There's no limits anymore. Welcome to the superpower store of the future. In general, much of science fiction will just become science. Of course, not all predictions will come true. Some things will never happen, and some things will exceed the most daring expectations. Eventually, people will learn to adapt their bodies or even grow a new race capable of living on other planets. Injuries will no longer be a problem either. Bionic prostheses that provide a full range of tactile sensations include additional functions and, controlled by the power of thought, will become an everyday occurrence. Lost mobility will be restored by implants with artificial intelligence, linking the brain with damaged parts of the spinal cord. Any part of the body can be replaced and even improved with the help of technology. 
making yourself stronger, faster, more resilient, or gaining superpowers, such as seeing at night or through walls. But that won't be the most surprising part. Just as smartphones have recently replaced phones, music players, bank cards, and car keys, in 2050, brain implants will replace smartphones and many other gadgets. Not only will they allow us to communicate with each other, literally embodying the idea of telepathy, it will be possible to change the world around us with the power of thought. The Internet of Things at home and on the street will obey your will and everything around us. It is only enough to want something and an order will be placed. Implants will also give us enhanced memory capabilities, as well as 24-7 access to the internet. Exactly what we need. What's more, the internet itself will change. Communication platforms will develop technologies that allow us to share online not only what we see, but what we feel. Multisensory messaging allows us to communicate smells, textures, sensations, such as a warm breeze in the face or the first snow. With artificial intelligence, it will be possible to extract any kind of data from the internet pre-organized and verified. The availability of a database of relevant and purely scientific knowledge will make it possible to get the right answer to almost any question, both simple and requiring extensive research. Neural networks will interpret all knowledge in a language understandable to each particular person, supplementing it with the generated 3D visualization, which will change education. With the help of implants, it will also be possible to connect directly to artificial intelligence which is predicted to equal or surpass human intelligence by 2050. A strong AI powered by quantum computers will help hack into many things that are beyond our comprehension today. It will facilitate discoveries that we can't even conceive of. It will also make it possible to do things that scientists have been struggling with for a long time, such as digitizing our brains. It will make it possible, if not to transfer our consciousness to the cloud, then at least to create an exact digital copy, which will be able to live forever. Such a copy can also be placed in a robot, created with the help of biotechnology and almost indistinguishable from a human being. Such a future carries a lot of dangers. For example, having received the opportunity to receive simulation from computers directly into the brain, many people won't want to return to reality. Instead, they'll prefer improved digital worlds or the worlds of computer games, where it will be possible to control characters with the power of thought, receiving feedback from the simulation directly into the brain. But even in the real world, many processes, including health, will be controlled by artificial intelligence. And if it decides what hormones to produce and what information to receive, will we be able to consider our desires, thoughts, and beliefs as our own? Or will they be shaped and controlled from the outside? Also at risk will be the leakage of biological data which, unlike a card or passport, cannot be replaced. The privacy of thoughts and integrity of memories could also be jeopardized. Every technology that will change lives for the better will carry risk, and we need to prepare for that too. Of course, in trying to look beyond the horizon, there's always the risk of getting it wrong. Once upon a time, many smart people thought the computer was a useless invention and that there would never be a need for more than five in the whole world. On the other hand, many people in the early 2000s excitedly predicted that in our time, we would all be traveling in flying cars and robots would do all the work for us. Will nanorobots really live inside of us? Will genetic engineering go so far as to create children with predetermined characteristics? Will the future be advanced and bright, or will we come to the Terminator and Matrix scenario? Biotechnology, robotics, and artificial intelligence will play a significant role in the development of events in any case. And what do you think? What will the development of technology bring us more, benefits or dangers? Join our chat in Telegram and write your opinion there. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and don't miss new releases from the world of high technology.